Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Thanksgiving on this eve of November 21st. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. All right, good to see you, Lawrence, Mike. Look at that. Mariano, Mary, good, good, Donna, Grant, everyone. Well, I'm pretty surprised a lot of you showed up today. <laughs> very, very impressed. Looks like a lot of us can't get, get, not get enough of it after seeing what happened with the market yesterday. Holy cow, right? Got a nice little crash in the market, but, uh, but I think we're going to make a little bit of comeback today. So I guess, you know, you know what's great about more than anything coming to trading in a day like today is that you get the experience of what to expect of, you know, what it's like to trade on certain holidays, what to, you know, from the experience, you know, been doing it for so, so long. And for some of you now are starting to come here year after year. And some of you are new beginners and don't understand what's going on. You got to know when to um, put good money uh, on good times and bad times. So that's where that all comes about. So you got to be a little careful when it comes to that. So let's, uh, let's go out there and uh, see what's happening in the market. First of all, we know the Dow took a big hit yesterday. Uh, let me tell you, I was getting phone calls from people. My, my, want to hear a funny story? My wife went to get her hair done yesterday. And her hairdresser, which, by the way, I told you this a while ago, these hairdressers do make a lot of money. So he's, like, freaking out uh, that he owned basically the worst stocks of them all. He owned... Amazon, he owned Facebook, he owned uh, NVIDIA, he owned, what else did he own? Basically the worst of the worst, right? And you know, it's so funny, everybody, like like I mentioned earlier in the chat room, you think like you have to trade $100 stocks to think you make money. I'm like, yeah, okay, no problem. Yeah, how was, uh, I, I haven't looked at it in a long time, but did you see Netflix? Holy cow, NFLX, let me bring that up here. Netflix at a high, about 420. Look where it ended up. It's at 250. I mean, at a hell of a run since 2016. Um, literally up about 300 points. But you know what? You know, you, but the funny part is when you talk to everybody, what happens, a PCG, yeah, it has a good one, Garth. But w what's funny is that when you talk to them, everybody's a little bit more depressed about, they, all, they, they still made money. I mean, don't get me wrong. Everyone still made money, but they, they were counting their chickens before they hatched. So instead of having a dozen eggs, you know, um, they only got about three eggs. All right. So, but they didn't lose all the eggs, but they still got something. They didn't realize they were going to have that do that well, but it just, listen, that's what everything's all about. And one thing I always tell everybody is that the, the problem why people have issues of not controlling profits. And this is one of my flaws that I am a very hardcore day trader. And the problem with being a day trader, you are too conservative. You're just too scared to like, you know, you, you just like sleeping at night. You don't, you, you like enjoying life. You don't want, you know, and, and you, and people don't realize it until now, like that now they start realizing like, man, man, I mean, I should be a day trader, but I'm bringing that up because now people are starting to realize that swing traders did do a lot better than day traders, but when they start get into markets like what's happening recently, they're flipping out and they're like, man, I wish I should have been a day trader. Because remember, if to be a good swing trader and to be a good options trader, you have to be a good day trader first. Uh, Ken says, uh, could be worse. Hey, you know what, Ken, it's still not over. Remember, you're doing it for the rest of your life. So people don't realize how worse it can get. So true. I love day trading for Mary Beth. Uh, Wayne says cash is great position to be in when smoke clears. And that, that is true. That is true. And uh, what was what was this funny saying I heard this morning? People say, oh, that's what they were saying. So when is everybody going to, when is everybody going to get back into the market? I said when the, sh when, you know, probably when the people, and there's an old saying of that, uh, when they find out the sharks, the shark is dead, people will go back in the water. So I don't know if the shark is dead yet. So if you're a Jaws fan, you know, that's what we got to focus on. But as day traders, we're the, we're, we're the snipers out there. So we'll see you and get a good sense of if it's getting over or not. But we need consistency. But, yes, cash is king, and I told you that. But even though you might get a little bump today in the market, you know, and seeing that, you know, it's up a little bit today, it's got to be like this for about two weeks consistently. 
holding flat, very strong, and that's what we want. Now, let's talk about what happened yesterday because some of you guys did do pretty well. Uh, we did add a couple of stocks that did move. By the way, today, just a couple of quick announcements. Uh, we did have the workshop going on today. Uh, Josh is going to do it on Monday. You know, listen, it's, we, we were talking about shorts. We, you know, remember being a being a trader here, you get work, you get workshops, uh, and and that's where you'd be spending and should be focusing most of your time. But we're gonna do it on Monday because I think it's gonna be a really bad market. I don't think you're not gonna see too much. And also, twelve o'clock today, I'm gonna be doing an open house again. We do it every week. So, like I said, if you're around, come out there and support CTU. And uh, what else did I miss? I think. Oh, and the Black Friday deal, guys. A lot of good Black Friday deals. I don't understand. Everyone got all upset because we had the banner up on top. They said it was taken away from the visual. Well, uh, well, listen, we'll have it up. You're gonna get an email. You know what? You know it's it's right on the website. Let me just bring it up. I think it's on our website. It should be on our website. Etu.co. Let me just bring that up. And uh, yeah, this should be a pop up banner that will come up in a few seconds. You know. By the way, I hope you guys have been enjoying the new website, um, the new Ctu website. We changed the whole thing. And uh, an another big thing uh, that I want to share from, with all of you two guys is that we are in the process of rebuilding the whole portal page. So for everybody here, um, we would like your feedback. You know, I know we got a lot of uh, uh, compliments and complaints about it, but uh, oh, there it is. There's the browser deal, Black Friday deal. So it comes up like after like 15 seconds. So for everybody here that wants uh, to help us out, uh, we're going to redo the whole portal page. We're going to make it so much easier and friendly. We already got a couple of layouts. If you guys uh, want to help us vote on it, your feedback is always appreciative. All right, so let's get back to see what's happening. Um, as of yesterday, it was a couple of nice little stocks that did make some big moves. I mean, NVDA, you got, I mean, NVIDIA, you know we're not a fan of that, but, you know, because it's expensive. But that had a great rally yesterday. It went from 34 to 54. I mean, AMD, all, every single one of them going down the list. As much as the market got crushed, these stocks got crushed like really bad, but they did come back. Micron, all in the same industry. We talked about them all yesterday. They're all in the same market. The problem that you're seeing now is they're basically hovering at the highs of yesterday. Yesterday, everything did exactly like the cyber clock tells you. They made all their big runs from 930 to 11, and they backed off. Day was pretty much over. I was pretty much done by like 10 o'clock in the morning. And then uh, now, now they're basically hovering right around there. Uh, a lot of people made money there. I need to go through the list, but, uh, but overall, oh, Square 2, I know. I mean, they all, they all did it, Square 2, you know, down to 56, when at 63. Now, you know I'm not a fan of any of these stocks, you know, in a way of this is like second protocol. First protocol that we always focus on is what's in the big percentage gainers and losers and follow the money, you know, but when you get markets like yesterday, you know, which by the way, it doesn't happen every day, you know, if the market would trade like, like what it did yesterday, let me tell you something, guys, we would kill it, you know, and uh, I think CTU will get so much attention because people are always panicking, you know, with so much uh, volatility, but at the end of the day, that doesn't happen. Uh, it happens maybe once every few weeks. Well, it's been happening just recently a little bit more than usual due to the Fed rates, but uh, I know what one of some of you guys just mentioned earlier, but we'll see what happens with the Fed rate next month. So hopefully they'll, they'll, you know, tone it down a little bit, but a couple of stocks we're going to uh, go through. I know some of you guys are already talking about it, but the ABI was one of them this morning on the watch list that we did have. Let me fix my time frame in here. But uh, this one was one of the stocks that I did find this morning. I thought this is probably the only one that's really probably moving that I was a fan of. It's not up a lot. I mean, if you came here around 830, you should have got in around 340, 345. So you're doing pretty good. I like this stock a lot because it was a $100 stock a long time ago. Some of you remember it. We did trade it here. And let me just fix this time frame in here. But uh, some of you remember back in July, the stock went from 2 to 14. So we know the stock is a lot of fun. So this could be our sleeper for the day. Remember, we only need one. And, and some of you are new traders and you say, hey, Fausto, what the hell does that one share mean? You know, let me just tell you what one share means. One share means if you're, if you're not going to trade it and you're going to sit there and watch it, buy one share just to say you're in it. And if you lose money, don't worry. It's not a lot. And if you make money, you could, you could just have fun and say, you know, it's like a video game. It costs me a dollar to play the game. But you gotta be, you gotta learn how to trade. So you know, if if you feel like you're chasing whatever, 
you know, just get into position, enjoy the glory, you know, um, and just look at that as a, the fee to play, to play a video game. You know, let's call it that. But this one so far is probably our favorite one, our best one's doing well. I thought something was going to happen. I said that early this morning. I said, you know what, we're not finding any, it's not looking like a really good pre-market. We might have to find something, wait for the market opens up. But so far, we got a pretty good couple of them. Uh, AMD, another one. Uh, so we got the NBEV, ABIL. Uh, AMD is making a little bit of a move. It's got some good pre-market trading. I don't know if this one's still moving. QD, this one gapped up pretty nicely right now, 10%. Kind of flat, though. Look at that. The only, thing I like, the only reason why I brought this up earlier is because it was a $17 stock. Stock got crushed. Looked like it's up a little bit. It's testing highs. And I know some of you also trade the any in pre-market, too. Any's doing pretty well. At 8.30, this morning was a $6 stock, 6.80. That one did pretty well. So uh, that's all looking good. Anyway, that's about it. I don't really see that much out there. We got... Five stocks. Now, listen, it is, it is uh, Thanksgiving Eve. So if everyone in uh, the United States, you know what that is. A lot of people in Canada and uh, out of this, you know, all over the world that are logged in here probably don't know what that is uh, for us. But it's one of the, probably the, the biggest holiday, uh, bigger than any holiday in the United States because everyone um, celebrates it. It's the biggest travel day of the year. So, you know, the market's closed tomorrow. Friday, we're going to be closed tomorrow. And it's so funny. I always get people freak out. They think, like, you went out of business or something. Like, nobody's answering the phone. I'm, listen, we're closed tomorrow. It's Thanksgiving. Enjoy your day. Um, Friday, we'll be here. It's a half a day, which I personally say it's, it's probably one of the best half days out of the whole year to trade. So definitely be there, um, you know, if you can. But as a day like today, I would be really cautious. You might get a good rally. I would poke my head in the afternoon and see what happens. But uh, don't be too much of a cowboy today. Just be very, very conservative. I don't think it's going to be, you know, if you, if, you, if you hit big and you make well, just take the money and run. Just take the money and run. I know some of you did pretty well. Ken, you're already up about 25 cents on 2,000 2, shares. All right, that's good. Just give him a round of applause. Ben did pretty well, too. Dad, you made, a, what, you made a, what, 35 cents on the any? All right, there we go. Good. Good job. Stocks have good deals on Black Fridays. They sure do. That's why, like, that's why Black Friday is a good day to trade. Uh, me my dollar 20 cents on the ABIL. There you go. You made a little more than me on that. I only made about 18 cents, Ben. So, all right. So there's our watch list, guys. Uh, so don't forget, we got Black Friday. Don't, uh, great packages for you guys. Uh, every year we post them uh, regarding about coaching and uh being subscribers to the cyber group room. Uh, we also remember we are moving the workshop for today to Monday, and I'm going to be doing a uh, 12 PM uh, open house and try to, you know, try to recruit some more traders. So hopefully everybody wants to be there. Just go out there and support us. And like I said, what else we got to do at 12 o'clock, unless you want to go out and do some shopping. All right. In the meantime, guys, good luck, happy trading. And uh, if I don't see you going to this afternoon, have a happy and healthy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Be back on Friday.